Uh, still looks like winter there and yeah, it's no summer kidding. here. <laughs> All right? right. Yeah. I mean, and Elena earlier said that she once skied on July 4th yep. in Tahoe. When was the latest you ever skied? Or uh, snowboard? Mammoth. Sometimes Mammoth is open pretty yeah, late. Into so. June and stuff. Yeah. 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 Skiing in t-shirts, but I was skiing on <laughs> July 14th or July 4th, excuse me. So taking that look outside right now, 62 degrees in Bakersfield, 50 in Tatchby, 54 for Lebec and Fraser Park. Still on the cool side, but very nice in these overnight hours because we've been so hot the last few afternoons. Right now, winds are calm, but they continue to pick up, getting in that air from the desert side, and that's cool, dry air that we're dragging in from all of this snow that you're seeing out to the east in the center part of the country. That cools the deserts down about 12 to 15 degrees in some places today. It's going to be really hard for that wind to get strong enough and get up into the mountains, though. It'll funnel through our passes, but only gusting up to about 25 miles an hour. Not a lot of that air getting down into the valley, so yesterday was the hottest day of the year so far at 90 degrees, the first time we've seen the 90s since the middle of October, and it looks like today will be much of the same. And I'm not calling for 90s just yet, but we do have a likelihood to hit that. I'm calling for 89 here in Bakersfield, pretty much the same. And that's because that ridge of high pressure, this perfect bubble of dry air right here, is still in control. But we have a system that will continue to move up to the north, and then we're watching this guy out here. We have two storms headed our way tomorrow. One will go over the north, one will come to the south. That squeezes us in between, kicks up our winds late tomorrow, and brings us a little bit of cloud cover and more winds on Thursday. So even though we're hot, it's dry and it's going to get windy. Air quality in the moderate range. Pollen still very high, especially for trees and grasses. And there's those temperatures again, very close to 90, pretty much the same as what we saw yesterday. So remember to drink your water and make sure your pets have enough water out there as well. This is unseasonably hot for us. 81 in Lake Isabella, a range of 70s for everyone else. And this is where the desert gets that cooler air affecting them. Yesterday, we had Ridgecrest at 93 degrees. Today, they'll only be at 81. They're all back to average. Well, in the Bakersfield area, we're still about 12 degrees above what we're used to seeing. Let's take a look at your traffic now. Nothing out there to slow you down. Even those winds don't look to be too dangerous today. Just please be careful. It looks like the worst of the winds happen until about 11 a.m. Then we calm down just a little bit. So that'll affect the 58 and the 178 up on the passes. But here in the heart of town, the streets of Bakersfield looking great. Mike and Aaron.